Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Coffee with Carl. I'm here with my paper cup today again in our new recording studio in Draper, Utah. Uh, today, I want to talk a little bit about joint ventures. So there's a few different ways to do joint ventures. I'm going to break them up into separate videos just so everybody has the full range of options. Uh, the best practice is usually creating a LLC to wrap that joint venture in so that both you and your partner are fully protected. Now, in the realm of LLCs for joint ventures, what's important is to note what type of business it is. So if I have a, I'll go through this in a, a subsequent video as well, but if I have, say, a joint venture that's intended to, say, flip a property, then the partners in the LLC that will be doing the property flip should be corporations so we don't have concerns of dealer status or liability flowing up to the parent entities. Uh, if we're doing something like a partnership on a long-term hold or a rental, then normally that would be our Wyoming holding companies. That would be the partner in that LLC that's gonna hold title to that property. So there's lots of different ways to put them together. From a best practice standpoint, the LLC tends to be the most secure and give you the most flexibility on types of terms, uh, things like that, and they can be customized as much as you need. One thing I will note about over, or I should say customization or over customization on a joint venture LLC is a lot of times if you don't know what you're doing or you Googled a bunch of stuff you want to add into your operating agreement, a lot of times if you're over customizing, you may actually be hurting yourself in the long run because you're restricting the type of business or type of actions you can do within that business entity. So from a standard standardization standpoint, the joint venture LLCs that we have put together give you maximum protection, maximum flexibility. There are times where it's appropriate, appropriate to customize some of those options. Uh, but we will sort of flag those for you if we come across it. Also, just so to note for our clients, if you do request customization, as part of our process, you will sit and discuss with an attorney if those you know, what that customization would mean for the overall entity and if it's an option you actually want. So, like I said, from a best practice standpoint, doing joint ventures in business are great. Um, meeting up with partners and you know creating new business connections but you want to make sure you do it safely so the safest way to do it is usually using wrapping an LLC around it so that way you and your partners are both protected from that perspective as always I want to remind everybody that if you haven't already please like and subscribe to our YouTube channels all of Anderson's YouTube channels uh, we love creating free content for you and we also like to see that people are sharing it and with their friends and everybody's getting something out of it. So please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time, I will catch you on the next episode of Coffee with Carl. Thanks everyone.